Welcome to the channel everyone! Today, we're about to take off on a wild ride to Brazil, a country bursting with color, culture, and some seriously epic landscapes. We're talking iconic beaches, rainforests teeming with life, and cities that just don't quit. Buckle up because we're diving headfirst into the top 10 places you absolutely have to visit in Brazil. Let's go! First up, we're hitting Rio de Janeiro, and let me tell you, this city is the definition of picturesque. You know those iconic shots of Christ the Redeemer with the city sprawling beneath? Yeah, that's even more breathtaking in person. And the beaches? Don't even get me started. Copacabana Beach is like a party that never stops. Imagine miles of golden sand, turquoise water, and people playing volleyball, soaking up the sun, and just vibing. We're talking about hitting the beach, grabbing some fresh coconut water straight from the coconut, and maybe even trying our hand at some beach soccer. No trip to Rio is complete without experiencing the carnival. The energy is insane, with parades, dancing, music, and costumes that'll blow your mind. And you know I can't forget about the food. We're talking authentic Brazilian BBQ, fresh seafood, and enough tropical fruits to last a lifetime. Rio is one of those cities that just stays with you. The energy, the beauty, the people, it's an experience you won't forget. Next up, we're off to Sao Paulo, the concrete jungle that's got a pulse like nowhere else. This city is a whirlwind of activity, with skyscrapers reaching for the sky and a cultural scene that's off the charts. First things first, we're hitting up the Sao Paulo Museum of Art, or MASP, as the locals call it. This place is iconic, not just for the incredible art collection but for the building itself, which is suspended on these massive red beams. But Sao Paulo isn't just about museums, this city is a melting pot of cultures and that means the food scene is next level. We're talking everything from traditional Brazilian fare to Japanese, Italian, you name it, it's a foodie's paradise. And the nightlife? Forget about it. Sao Paulo comes alive after dark with bars, clubs, and live music venues on every corner. One thing I love about Sao Paulo is the street art. Seriously, every corner you turn, there's a new mural or graffiti piece that'll blow your mind. Step back in time in Salvador, a city bursting with history and culture. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is rich in history. Cobblestone streets, colorful colonial buildings, and ancient churches. First stop, the Pelourinho District, the heart and soul of Salvador, a feast for the senses. Vibrant buildings, music, and delicious Bahian food. Salvador is also a center of Afro-Brazilian culture. Catch a capoeira performance, a blend of martial arts, dance, and music. Hold on to your hats because we're about to enter the future in Brasilia, Brazil's capital city. This place is like stepping into a time machine, but instead of going to the past, you're catapulted into a world of futuristic architecture and urban planning. Brasilia was designed from scratch in the 1950s and it's a masterpiece of modernist design. We're talking buildings shaped like spaceships, wide open spaces, and a layout that's meant to be both functional and beautiful. Our first stop has got to be the Plaza of the Three Powers where you'll find the Presidential Palace, the National Congress, and the Supreme Federal Court. The architecture here is mind-blowing, and it's a powerful symbol of Brazil's democracy. But Brasilia isn't just about concrete and glass. The city is also home to some beautiful parks and green spaces, like the Brasilia National Park, where you can escape the hustle and bustle and reconnect with nature. And of course, no trip to Brasilia would be complete without visiting the Cathedral of Brasilia. This place is an architectural marvel, with these soaring white columns that seem to reach for the heavens. Get ready to swap your city shoes for flip-flops because we're heading to Florianopolis, an island paradise off the coast of Brazil. This place is all about stunning beaches, crystal clear water, and a laid-back vibe that'll make you want to stay forever. Florianopolis is known as the Island of Magic, and once you set foot here you'll understand why. The beaches are absolutely unreal with soft white sand, turquoise water, and enough sunshine to last a lifetime. We're talking about hitting up Praia da Joaquina, which is a surfer's paradise, or maybe relaxing on the shores of Praia Mole, which is known for its natural beauty. But Florianopolis isn't just about beaches. The island is also home to charming colonial towns, lush rainforests, and a vibrant nightlife scene. We're definitely going to be exploring the historic district of Santo Antonio de Lisboa, which is full of cobblestone streets, colorful buildings, and delicious seafood restaurants. Florianopolis is the perfect place to unwind, relax, and soak up the natural beauty of Brazil. 
Hold on tight because we're about to embark on an adventure into the heart of the Amazon rainforest, starting with Manaus, the gateway to this incredible ecosystem. Get ready to experience a whole new world of biodiversity, natural wonders, and maybe even a few creepy crawlies along the way. Manaus is a city that's unlike any other. It's located right in the middle of the Amazon rainforest, and it's a place where the urban and the wild collide in the most incredible ways. Our first stop has got to be the Meeting of Waters, where the dark waters of the Rio Negro and the sandy-colored waters of the Rio Salamos flow side by side for miles without mixing. It's a natural phenomenon that's as beautiful as it is bizarre. We're definitely going to be exploring the Amazon rainforest either by boat, on foot, or maybe even by zipline. We'll be on the lookout for monkeys, sloths, macaws, and all sorts of other amazing creatures that call this place home. And if we're lucky, we might even spot a pink river dolphin, which is a species of dolphin that's only found in the Amazon River. Get ready to be blown away by the sheer power and majesty of nature at Foz do Iguacu home to the awe-inspiring Iguacu Falls. This is one of those places that photos simply cannot do justice. You have to see it to believe it. Imagine this. 275 individual waterfalls cascading down sheer cliffs surrounded by lush rainforest. The sound is deafening, the mist is refreshing, and the views are absolutely breathtaking. We're going to experience the falls from every possible angle, from the Brazilian side, which offers panoramic views, to the Argentinian side, which gets you up close and personal with the Devil's Throat, the most powerful waterfall of them all. But Faz do Iguacu is more than just the falls. The surrounding national park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, teeming with biodiversity. We'll be exploring the rainforest trails, taking a boat ride right up to the base of the falls, and maybe even getting our adrenaline pumping with a helicopter ride over this natural wonder. Foz do Iguacu is a place that will leave you humbled by the power of nature. Get ready to experience the vibrant culture and history of Recife, a city on Brazil's northeastern coast that's often called the Brazilian Venice thanks to its network of rivers, bridges, and islands. Recife is a city of contrasts, where colonial history meets modern energy, and where stunning beaches sit alongside a rich cultural heritage. We'll be exploring the historic neighborhood of Recife Antigo, with its colorful colonial buildings, charming squares, and lively markets. We'll check out the Instituto Ricardo Brenan, a cultural space that houses an impressive collection of art and artifacts. But Recife isn't just about the past. The city is also known for its vibrant music scene, with roots in frevo, maracatu, and other traditional rhythms. We'll catch a live music performance, maybe even learn a few dance steps ourselves. And of course, no trip to Recife would be complete without some beach time. Prepare to be transported back to Brazil's colonial past in Ouro Preto, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's like a living museum. This charming town is nestled in the mountains and is renowned for its well-preserved Baroque architecture, cobblestone streets, and fascinating history. We're talking churches adorned with gold leaf, grand mansions built by wealthy gold miners, and a captivating atmosphere that takes you back centuries. We'll be exploring the opulent churches like São Francisco de Assis, with its intricate carvings and stunning artwork by Ale Jadinho, one of Brazil's most famous artists. We'll wander through the Museo da Inconfidencia, which tells the story of a failed rebellion against Portuguese rule. But, Ouro Preto isn't just about history. The town is also known for its lively atmosphere, with students from the local university filling the streets, charming cafes and restaurants, and a vibrant arts and crafts scene. Ouro Preto is a place where history comes to life. Get ready for an unforgettable wildlife adventure in the Pantanal, one of the world's largest tropical wetlands. This vast ecosystem is a paradise for animal lovers. Jaguars lounging on riverbanks, capybaras grazing in the shallows, caimans lurking in the water, and an explosion of bird life. We'll explore by boat, on horseback, and on foot. Led by experienced guides, we'll spot giant river otters, playful monkeys, and colorful macaws staying in a traditional fazenda, experiencing the life of the Pantaneros. The Pantanal is a place of incredible beauty and biodiversity. And there you have it, folks. Our whirlwind tour of Brazil's top 10 must-visit places. From the beaches of Rio to the rainforests of the Amazon, from the colonial charm of Ouro Preto to the wildlife wonderland of the Pantanal, 
Brazil truly has something for everyone. I don't know about you, but I'm already planning my next trip back. This country has stolen a piece of my heart, and I can't wait to experience more of its magic. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more travel adventures, and let me know in the comments below which place you're most excited to visit. See you in the next video.